Hello, welcome to Healthy Living at WorkoutMaster.com. Today we're going to be going over the episode again about the bench press. We got a lot of comments and a lot of concerns of different people wanting to know more about it and how and uh, what are the differences that we utilize. So today we're going to have Leila as the uh, as the floor person doing the, the exercise for you to see. And I will point out once again the things that I, I believe that you have to be very careful with when it comes to practicing the exercise in a safe manner so that you don't end up trashing your shoulders. So first of all, uh, we have a bench, we have a squat rack, and we have a bar. We're gonna change all the media so you can use different types of uh, elements to uh, work out from this pushing position in an open chain, as you understand now what that means as you've seen the other episodes. So the first thing that Leila is gonna do is pick up the bar and start moving, and I'll tell her exactly, cue her, where she has to go and where she has to stop. So she will begin the exercise. And for somebody like Sheila, I will never let her go down as far as she just did on the first rep. First of all, because I want the upper arm to be only parallel to the ground from that, from that point down. So as she comes down, I'll ask her to stop right about there, and you see that distance between her chest and the bar where she has to stop. Once again, come up. Repeat a couple more reps from there. Lay line, don't go any deeper than that. All right? That's fine. Just for the, for the point of uh, assessing, telling people what to do, you can rack the weight. So now, understand that the bar should never have to touch the chest unless you are a really, really thick person. Not if you are a female and you're big breasted. That has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the capacity of your rib cage to expand and also with the range of the shoulder to reach as far down. So in her case, I will not let her go any, any closer than probably about four or five inches from her chest. Now we're going to show you the next phase of the exercise. So now you're going to observe, you know, uh, sequence two, how we're doing here. She's using a bowl and a, and a bar, all right? And this is the interesting thing that you have to be careful. When you position yourself on the bowl, your shoulders and the back of your head should be resting on the apex of the bowl, give and take a few inches. But the head and the shoulders should be well supported. Now, uh, Leila, pick up the weight again. And now one thing that we're going to demonstrate is that if the ball is, is inflated very hard, it's very going to be very easy to ex overextend the shoulder once again. So get down and start right about there. Once again, the distance is the same. The advantage go up. The advantage that you might have is that the ball is slightly deflated, as you should do it for yourself. You'll feel the ball on the back of the arm as you drop in the weight down towards your chest. So repeat a few more repetitions, Leila. And if she does it, put it back. Just for the, shake, uh, for the sake of showing you, you can use the ball as, as, a, as an element of support but it's not very, very stable. So let's go to the following sequence for now. So now, Leila, instead of having the bars, obviously, as you can see, she uses dumbbells. She's gonna have a little bit more freedom of move the arms. And she can do both arms at the same time, one arm at a time, it don't matter. Always keep in mind the range of motion is gonna be very important if you don't wanna end up trashing your shoulders. So Leila, do a few repetitions of, of uh, both arms at the same time. Once again, when you do uh, dumbbells, you have a lot more freedom of the joints, so most likely you're gonna overextend. So be careful not to drop the elbows below the breaking point where the angle for the shoulder is kind of precarious. Now you can do one arm at a time, just to show a modification. So you can go left to right, right to left, there you go. Set the weights down if you want in the floor. You can put them down. The difference between obviously working with a bench and working with the ball is that you have to use a lot more stabilizers and even the hip extensors, they're gonna be working as you're balancing yourself on the ball while instead of using a bench or opposed to using a bench. Makes it a little harder. And now we're gonna show you the last sequence in case there is any kind of trauma to the shoulder and you have to restrict the amount of range of motion that you have in your shoulders. This surely will do it, so stay for the next one. This will be the safest way to perform the exercise if you, in fact, have any type of, type of issue with your shoulders. So as you can see, Leila here, she's laying on the floor, she's got a mat underneath, and she's gonna be using the weight of the rack. So Leila, perform a few reps. Hold it at the bottom there. As you can see, the distance between the bar and her chest is the true distance before she starts overextending her shoulders and creating trauma at the shoulder capsule of the joint, right? So just go for a few reps. Eventually, you will load here with, a, with the amount of weight that you find is considerably, you know, uh, resistance for you, and you'll take it from there. But this is by far the safest way that you can do the bench press if you're rehabbing your shoulders from a, from a starting point, or if you just want to do it in a fashion that will not put them in a, in a dangerous position. Nice and simple. And rack the weight. 
That is it for this episode, guys. We look forward to hearing comments and concerns from you. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and of course, follow our videos at WorldCampMaster.com. For now, thank you.